Hey friends, you know how much I enjoy trickster tales, especially in Nanzi. So today I'm going to read Anansi and the Magic Stick. These stories originally originated in um, Ghana in West Africa. And Eric Kimmel is a local Portland author and he has taken this story and made it his own. And the illustrator is Janet Stevens. I hope you enjoy it. Anansi and the Magic Stick. <clears throat> It was a fine, bright day, and all the animals were working, working, working in their gardens, all except Anansi the spider. Anansi lay in his front yard, fast asleep. Warthog, lion, and zebra came walking by. Look at Anansi, he's so lazy, said zebra. His house is falling apart, his yard is full of trash, and he wouldn't get out of bed if his house caught fire. Anansi's so lazy he falls asleep standing up, said Lion. He's so lazy moss grows on his head, Warthog added. Their noisy laughter awoke Anansi. Be quiet. I'm not lazy at all. I'm thinking. My mind is working hard, Anansi tapped his forehead. The animals laughed even harder. Anansi walked away. I don't have to listen to you. I'll find another place to sleep. I mean, think. Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. Before he knew it, he'd walked all the way to Hyena's house. Now Hyena lay in his hammock fast asleep. His house was neat and tidy. His yard was beautifully planted with shrubs and flowers. What is Hyena's secret? Anansi wondered. No one ever sees him working, yet his house always looks beautiful. I need to find out how he does it. Anansi hid behind a bush, watching and waiting. Hyena woke up and he noticed a pile of dust on the path. He spoke to a stick leaning against a post. Hocus pocus magic stick sweep this dust up quick quick quick. As Anansi watched the magic stick swept away the dust. When the dust was gone Hyena said abra canabra canabra. Down fell the stick. Hyena leaned it against the house the post and went inside his house. That's just what I need said Anansi. If I had that magic stick my house would be as beautiful as Hyena's. No one would ever laugh at me again. Anansi grabbed the magic stick and ran as fast as his legs could go. He soon became tired. Hey, why am I carrying this stick? It can carry me. Anansi said the magic words just as he remembered them. Hocus pocus magic stick, carry me home now, quick, quick, quick. The stick picked up Anansi and carried him along. When they arrived at Anansi's house, he said, Abra, Canabra, Cadabra. Kaboom! The magic stick dropped Anansi on his head. Ow! Anansi cried. Next time, put me down gently, stick. There's lots of work to do. Get rid of this trash first. Anansi said the magic words. <clears throat> hocus pocus magic stick, clean my yard up quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round and gathered all the trash and threw it over the fence right into Lion's yard. Abra, canabra, cadabra down fell the stick. Good job, stick. Next, my house. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Fix my house up quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. Wood and nails flew through the air. Bright pink paint splashed over the fence as a zebra came walking by. Anansi's house gleamed. So did zebra. He was bright pink too. Abra, canabra, cadabra. Down fell the stick. Now for my garden, Anansi said. Hocus pocus, magic stick, plant and water. Quick, quick, quick. Look at Zebra. He looks pretty silly. The magic stick whirled round and round. It dug up the dirt, throwing the weeds into Warthog's tomato patch. It planted seeds in a neat straight row. Then it began to water them. Anansi yawned. Oh, watching all this hard work makes me tired. I need a nap. Keep watering, stick, and don't stop. Anansi lay down and went to sleep. The magic stick kept watering, watering, watering. The vegetables go, grew bigger and bigger and bigger. The 
The water flowed across the Nunzi's yard and out the gate. A trickle at first, and then a stream. Then a flood. See Nunzi's on top of the tomato. Then a mighty river. Now look, this is a picture of the author. And he's got a pencil because writers write. And here's a picture of the illustrator. And she's got a paintbrush because illustrators paint. And here's a rabbit that is in a lot of their books. And there's the tor tortoise from the hare and the tortoise. And there's a fox. Actually, sorry, he's a coyote from the coyote and the blanket. Another one of their books. Sometimes authors and illustrators like to include things from their other books in their newer books. Help! The animals cried. Help! cried Anansi, waking up to find himself afloat in the middle of a raging river. He tried to make the water stop, but he couldn't remember the magic words. Canabra, catabra, cababra, calabra, cazabra, cafabra, cabra, camabra, capabra. Nothing happened. The water kept flowing. Help! cried Anansi. Hyena came drifting by. Hello, Anansi, he said. It's a nice day to be on the water. By the way, I'm looking for a magic stick. Have you seen it? A funny looking stick just came floating by, Anansi said. I can't see it now. It must be underwater. I think Crocodile ate it. Or else he's using it as a toothpick. I better get it back before he breaks it. Hyena leaned over the water and said, Hocus pocus, magic stick, no more magic, end of trick. Abra, canabra, cadabra. It's a good thing Hyena came along. The river stopped flowing, leaving behind a wide lake. What are we going to do about this lake? The animals asked. Nothing I can do, Hyena said. The lake is here and here it stays. You'll just have to learn to enjoy it. So they did. The animals built new homes on the lake shore. They swam, jumped, and played in the bright blue water. But someone was missing. Where was Anansi? Did the flood sweep him away? Did he tumble over a waterfall? Poor Anansi, the animals sniffled, wiping away their tears. We'll never see him again. He's always so mean, I'm not sure why they miss him. But they were wrong. Anansi was far away on the other side of the lake, floating along in his new houseboat, sleeping all day and planning new tricks, which is what Anansi does best. And that's the end. There's a picture of the author and the illustrator again. I hope you enjoyed that story. And you know Anansi is pretty tricky and he's actually not very nice, but he's fun to read about. Happy reading, friends.